Melissa love to make love, love to make love, love to make love to each other over and over and over again. For the first few weeks of their relationship, they made love four or five times a night. They were really turned on for a while. Then to heighten their passion, they bought sex books. The Joy of Sex, The Sensuous Couple, The Joy of Sex Part Two, The Kama Sutra, Even Yet Still More Joy of Sex, Popular Mechanics, Betty Crocker, anything. They tried as many positions as they were capable of, physically, physically, physically. They were really turned on for a while. Then, to heighten their passion, they bought sex toys, Benoit balls, French ticklers, nipple clamps, cock rings, whips and chains and bondage gear, bowling balls, dildos, vibrators, watermelons, commemorative statuettes of liberty, anything. They were really turned on for a while. They set up a video camera and taped themselves having sex. Then they watched it on the VCR while having more sex. Then, to heighten their passion, Gary taped Melissa having sex with some of his friends, and Melissa taped Gary having sex with some of her friends. Then they watched it on the VCR while having more sex. They were really turned on. As the years went by, Gary and Melissa became fine, upstanding members of their community. Although they never married, their relationship outlasted all the marriages on their block, and they never fought except to heighten their passion. They had made an agreement that when one of them died, the other would continue to live with and make love to the corpse. But as luck would have it, they were both killed in a freak accident and died at the exact same moment, holding hands.